Okay, uh, today we will be going through the Anderson Prelim 214 Pure Physics paper. So I will start with paper 1. Okay, uh, general difficulty is not that tough. Uh, I think you can easily get a B uh, if you have studied the book and be very careful with the units and uh, significant figures. So let's begin with the MCQ. Okay, question one basically tests you on uh, laboratory equipment and the precision that uh, each equipment offer. So if you look at uh, this figure, you see this thickness is really small. So you know that uh, for this thickness, you definitely need a screw gauge, micrometer screw gauge. And if you look at this length, uh, it is pretty uh, big. So you definitely need a meter rule. So with these two things in mind, uh, answer A is quite uh, obvious. Okay, question two, um, non-uniform acceleration. So this is a speed time graph and uh, acceleration is uh, represented by gradient. So non-uniform acceleration means that your gradient cannot be uniform. So it means that it's not a straight line. So you can see one, two, and so the answer is A. Okay, uh, question 3 is a little bit more tricky. Uh, they ask you to find the speed and uh, they tell you that uh, from this image to this image, the distance is 2. So the way to count it is that you take this as the reference point. So when the shutter opens up and close, it will capture one image. So this is the start. So shutter open, shutter close. This is the second image. So in total, there will be one, two, three, four images uh, for this distance. So with that, uh, the question also tell you that for one second, there will be 20 images. So you can set up the uh, ratio as such, one second, 20 images. So for four images, uh, the duration of time will be 0 0.2 seconds. So with this distance and this time, you can calculate the uh, speed. Okay, question four, uh, just be careful with the wording. Uh, down here, the wind is blowing from the west. That means the force is towards your east. So if you look at uh, A, you can see that this horizontal force is in the wrong direction. Similarly for your C, uh, it is in the wrong direction. So you can eliminate A and C. Then after that, uh, look at B and D. Uh, the resultant force has to come out from the same uh, okay they are using the parallelogram method but even though they say that it is parallelogram here you form a rectangle so just by common logic you can see that it is impossible for a resultant force to suddenly go towards your right when there is no uh, force component that is going to the right. So just by elimination, you can actually deduce that it is A. Okay. Okay, question five. Okay, question five. Um, uh, use the formula D equals to M over V. If you are good with mathematics, uh, you will know that by uh, keeping one of the parameter constant and changing the other, uh, you will get a corresponding change on the D. So if you are not that good with mathematics, you can just substitute some numeric numerical value in and uh, just test out all the four cases. So just a quick one. Uh, if you keep the maths constant, okay, and you reduce V by a factor of 0 0.5, so half here, uh, because it is in the denominator, eventually it will become like this, m over 0 0.5 v. So this thing will become 1 over 0 0.5 m over v. So in the end, you will get 2 m over v. So effectively, it's uh, 2 times the original density.